Hey guys, welcome. So today I'll be showing you some fun things. My son just had his first birthday. I typically like to find decorations that I can do myself or make myself just to save myself some money and so that I can be a little bit creative. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a balloon tower and some other fun decorations. I have several projects coming soon, including some Christmas stuff. So if you like these types of video, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Let's get into the video. Okay, so we're just gonna jump right into it. First, you're gonna blow up your balloons and tie them off. And then I'm gonna tie two balloons together at the bottom. After I have those tied together, and I have four balloons total, I'm just gonna take the two sets and twist them together. Two or three twists around really seem to work pretty well. So here I have my stack of balloons going pretty tall and I add one layer at a time and tie off each layer before I add the next. So I took my string and I fed it through underneath the layer of balloons and just kind of placed them where I could reach them easily. I grabbed my layer and I just kind of shifted it so that they, the balloons were alternating. Took my string and just tied off this layer. You can choose to make this balloon tower as tall or as short as you'd like and it actually stands up on, as, on its own pretty easily. add a little extra to my balloon tower, I added this metallic gold one that I found at Walmart and it actually came with a little straw to just blow it up so you don't need helium for it, although you can put helium in these. So I just used the string that came with the balloon and tied it underneath on my top layer. The next thing I'm going to show you is a DIY tassel banner. This one was so fun and turned out so good. So first you're just going to need some tissue paper, some scissors, and some string. Next I just separated my tissue paper into single sheets. So I left my tissue paper folded in half and I started making cuts towards the fold. I made my cuts pretty thick and later when I have it all rolled up I add thinner strips and I'll show you how I did that. Now that I've got all my strips cut out I unfold the tissue paper. Then you just start rolling. You're keeping me on. Yeah, I'm strapped in. Stuck in a song. You can't turn off. Once you have it all the way rolled up, you're going to fold it in half and twist it around your finger. This way, you have something to weave a piece of string or rope through. You could glue that little twisted area, but I chose to tie it off.
These pom-pom banners are actually from the dollar store. I thought they turned out really cute. Still I'm thinking of you. These party hats turned out so cute. All I did was cut out white circles from craft paper and little teeth and drew on the eyeballs. I used double-sided tape to stick them on. I didn't get the chance to show you this during the party, but this tablecloth is so pretty and I feel like I can use it for so many future birthday parties. This is the little smash cake I made for him. If you guys want to know how I did this, then leave a comment down below and I will possibly make a video in the future. The last thing I wanted to show you, this isn't a decoration that I made, but this is a gift from Grayson's grandparents. It's a little book that has his name throughout and it's like a little story about all these little animals going to his first birthday party. I thought it was really cute and it's something we can read to him for many years and something that hopefully he'll want to hold on to. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have so much fun making these types of videos. If you guys have any questions about anything in this video, leave a comment down below. I will answer any questions. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks.